I call this Adama and the sacred cows. The time is three in the morning, and sleep just won't come. My soul is aching to speak. The little voice inside me refuses to be denied. It certainly will have its way. I'm feeling as though I'm being caught in some weird time warp, lonely, isolation at this ungodly hour. My mind rises. Thoughts keep coming, flying like gushing rivers out of the past and into the present with all its force. Somehow hoping that this is that dadaism signifying nothing, but my heart just won't buy it. I know it's all very real, signifying everything. A, a reminiscence of the early 50s, the wee hours on McDougal Street in the village, coffee houses, poetry reading, the bitter end cafe, hydrogen bombs, fear, desolation, a dominant sacred cause, finally thoughts of hope manifesting itself in my being, transcending all else, leaving me feeling like a renaissance man, but sounding more like a beat poet. This one I wrote when I was in uh, my 20s, and I just come back from the Big Apple. New York City, and I was inspired to scribble a poem off on the bus home, and I call it Jungle Metropolis. My poetry is a protest, a cry of anguish in the night, shouting, pleading into the ear of a sleeping America as a cold, lonely wind lashes the crazy sizzling hues of hypnotic neons as man, the civilized animal, stalks his prey across this jungle metropolis by night. For indeed, the wind is a switchblade knife slashing at the smokestacks of urban insanity. And that's it.